Hi guys, I'm Nasada and we are playing uh, modded Minecraft 1.10.2 and uh, we are playing a custom mod pack, right? Uh, all the mods are in the description and so and uh, today we are starting on uh, our processing yeah and that's why I'm making external heaters I have inter uh, item routers, I have conveyor belts and I have all the stuff prepared for the uh, for the big crusher machine in in the uh, in the factory, right? So we can actually go and start uh, making uh, yeah big crusher that will uh, be used to double our ore so and 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 so right. So this is the uh, components for the crusher. Uh, it's a multi-block structure and it's uh, it's quite big. And uh, uh, yeah, give me a second to actually get this thing. Oh and hmm. Uh, follow up from the from the uh, last episode, right? Uh, I didn't know how to make that obsidian um, uh, obsidian uh, sharpening kit, right? Well, you make it on a tool on a tool bench or whatever it's called. The, so you don't actually smelt obsidian because it becomes lava and it's completely useless there. So yeah, hmm. okay. So we can do that. So that's how I have. Uh, uh, my steel pickaxe right and it's actually fortified with obsidian and uh, yeah it can it can go on mine cobalt uh, we still have the problem that the blazes are not really um, very cooperative when it comes to mining cobalt so um, yeah that's 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 basically a problem that's basically a problem uh, but um, i hope uh, that i will also make some more ranged weapons and oh and the other thing this thing tiberian shuriken right it's a bad idea. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Tiberium is un is unstable, and that means that it explodes. So basically, it's like a throwing bazooka. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's it's not the greatest uh, idea to actually go and use it. Um, yeah. So most likely, I will be making a completely different, uh, completely different. Uh, uh, wait a second. I want to go and make it uh, somewhere here. Yeah, a completely different uh, shuriken because uh, yeah, this one is 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 just dangerous. I killed a. Uh, I will actually show you guys this because I killed a uh, uh, spider right with that shuriken. And uh, do you see this hole? Well, previously there was a hill, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, one shuriken. Yeah, it's basically like a grenade launcher. I could totally actually use it as a grenade launcher in, in, in Netherrealm whatsoever. Uh, but uh, yeah. And yeah, and it's not really that effective against uh, uh, against uh, blazes. So I still have to actually figure out a way to actually kill them more efficiently. Because right now it's, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's just bunkers. Um, and those are light ones, right? I think it... I think you will have the um, uh, input thingy here, right? Here you will have the output, and here I don't remember. I don't remember actually how it looks. So yeah, I'm kind of making. Can I actually make it like? Oh, it looks like that. Okay, so here you have the output, here you have the input, and here you have some machinery. Um, can I work with that like that? Yeah, I can. I can. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, how do you make it? Yeah, okay. This one. Okay, I want to have it like this. Okay, so this is the next level. Here, here, right? Three and one. Okay, three and one. Okay. No cable. Uh, some fences. Steel fences. Two, three, four. Uh, why in 10? Okay. I totally don't see where I should put the rest of the fences. Because there are like 10 of them, right? No, 8. Okay, so 8 only, only, only 8 fences. Okay, so that's cool. And now only the cop, only the hoppers. Oh, okay. So now it's actually obstructed. Okay, so this thing, after a whack with a hammer, should turn into the crusher. And here we have the crusher. 
Ooh, that's a big machine. That's a big machine. Okay, so we have a crusher. Uh, what do I actually input the... Oh, here you here actually input the power. Okay, so I can actually do that. Well, I cannot do that because I didn't brought my staff here. Uh, okay. Mm. Yeah, okay, I will get the staff. Um, yeah, so I will have to actually figure out a good way of killing blazes in a safe, uh, safe manner, right? And right now, the this shuriken that I have right now, it um, it actually uh, uh, yeah, it's not really that effective at killing blazes. So that's a that's a big problem. That's a really big problem because there's a lot of ores in the nether that I would really like to mine, and also I would really like to have more blaze uh, uh, blaze chunks so I can make the uh, uh, crops. That, that yeah, that will basically allow us to just make like complete automated blaze uh, 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 blaze rolls, right? Uh, so yeah, and uh, yeah, well, yeah, so I'll have to actually figure out a way. I am, I am like thinking about the revolver, right, from um, immersive engineering and uh, uh, railgun, but I think railgun is actually extremely underpowered. We will make it, I will test it, but uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, this machine was extremely uh, underpowered, so yeah. Oh my goodness, I really don't have any kind of cobblestone. Oh, okay. Because we have to apply uh, some redstone to actually go and run it, right? Later on, I, I think I will actually make like uh, redstone cables and I will just make a one switch for the whole factory or something like that. Uh, or make a control panel. Yeah, control panel. Control panel makes sense. Uh, that makes sense, right? Uh, okay, so we need something like this. Yes, and this is our lever. Yeah, and I, and most likely in one of the very very uh, near episodes, I will actually make a barn, like a proper barn, because I really need. Is it working? Hmm, it doesn't work. I think it has power. No, it doesn't have power. Why doesn't it have power? Huh. I don't think it works. And I'm really puzzled. What's happening here? I, I, I really don't understand. Okay, this is the LV connector, right? No, it has power, it has power, it has power, okay, it has power. Maybe, it has, uh, maybe I have to actually throw something else, uh, in there, right? Uh, maybe a spruce thingy? Maybe a stick. Try to actually put a stick here. No, nothing happened. Uh, maybe a copper ingot. Oops, a stick. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So it, oh, okay. So it works like that. It works on demand, basically. Oh, that's actually cool because I thought that it actually consumes power constantly, and when you actually put something there, then you actually get something, right? Uh, but it just, yeah. So okay, so that's cool. That's cool. So okay, so. Okay, 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 we can work with that. Uh, now, I will need um, two additional sh uh, stuff. Um, I will need two furnaces. I will actually grab a stack of cobblestone and uh, a couple of other uh, resources, right? Um, yeah, because we will have to also make like conveyor belts and splitters and uh, have item routers, so that's cool. Uh, external heater, okay, that's the thing that we want. Uh, this is not really that interesting, this is more interesting and that's all I think that I want right now yeah, that's all okay, let's go back and let us make some ore processing I kinda have a an idea, oh yeah, I need actually more more iron and I think I had, I had some iron here, I have only Wow. 
Okay, I don't really have that much iron. And I will need actually a lot for the for the hoppers. Yeah, but it seems that I don't really have iron. Okay, guys, uh, I will get iron and... Okay, guys, I think I have everything, so uh, we can proceed, right? Uh, I will need two furnaces. Uh, I will need two furnaces. And I will place them... I will place them somewhat here, right? Mm, so I will need one, and this is the second one, right? This is one furnace, this is the other furnace. I could actually place them other way. Actually make more sense. Oops. Uh, okay, I have two heaters, right? And I will need uh, heaters, uh, which way? Actually, I have no idea which way. Um, I could have them in the back. Yeah, maybe that makes sense. Now, can you have the input slot here? I am not sure about that. Where's my hammer? Oh, here, okay. Uh, hmm. Cannot have it on the side. So I can have it only on a. No, that was. Wow, I have no idea how to, how this thing works. Uh, but okay, worked. Okay, work, works, just perfect. Uh, we have L uh, low voltage uh, connectors, right? We'll actually connect them here. We'll get some wires. Um, where I can actually connect this thing? Mm, most like it would make sense if I would have a relay here, maybe. Right. Whoops. Here. And this thing. Here. And this thing. Here. And then this thing. Here. Right. And... Ha! Ah. It seems that we have... <laughs> we can have blackouts. Um... Ah, okay. So, um, I know what we will be doing next episode. <laughs> we'll be making more power. Uh, okay, but uh, to continue with this one. Okay, so we need a conveyor belt, right? We need a conveyor belt. And, uh, yeah, we need something like this, this, and here. Oh, those are actually quite high, but uh, we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Uh, where's my axe? My axe is here, okay. Okay, and so and so we have something like this here. That's okay. And uh, now, how I would like to make this thing happen? I would like to make it like this, like this, right? Yeah, that would make sense. And now here we we'll have to have a one conveyor belt like this, and the other here, 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 here. here. Right now, we just have to actually go and elevate those. Yeah, that makes sense. And we'll need a conveyor belt here. And in a second, we'll actually use a, a new type of uh, conveyor belt. I don't think it was before here, and that's a splitting one. And uh, it's very cool because it can go and split, uh, I think, round robin or something like that, uh, between two other conveyor belts. So we have something like that, right? So all the grids will be actually getting here, here, and here to, the, to those two furnaces, right? And those two furnaces will be actually making the processing. So uh, the next step is to make, um, I think, four hoppers because we need also the dropping conveyor belts. So the four hoppers. Okay. Oh, that's a completely wrong way to go. Um, two, three, four, okay. Four chests. Uh, okay. Okay, four hoppers.
hoppers, right? We need two dropping conveyor belts. Actually, when you are, when you want to make everything with immersive engineering, it is a very very uh, iron uh, heavy mod. Really, it it consumes like enormous amounts of iron, but that's okay. We have a lot, so uh, that's kind of okay. Okay, those are the dropping ones. So they will actually go and drop uh, uh, stuff into the furnaces, right? Here we can actually make uh, additional ones. And that's cool. And here, here we'll have also a conveyor belt. Hmm, okay, that's... Uh, okay, I can do something like that. And yeah. And here we'll have a back loop. I don't think I have actually conveyor belts that should do that, but just maybe, just maybe. Uh, and that's why we have also the item routers because the, uh, yeah, because how it will be working. Just give me a second, I was, uh, uh, we'll be finishing it and everything will be uh, clear why it's like that. Um, okay, so that's that. Now we need the hoppers to be actually inserted here, right? And to actually make that, wow, I have to get to this this part here yeah. and do something like this okay now we have the hoppers whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, it's very hard to actually go and um, well yeah do anything on those kind of robots okay so that's here uh, we need also uh, a little bit more of um, scaffolding but uh, luckily we have three and water on on us, so that's not really a problem. Whoops. I really like how the I really like how the scaffolding actually looks. So uh, I think it actually fits the, the the whole machinery and so in steampunk QA. Uh, I think it actually uh, very nicely complements it. Okay, so this is this one. Okay, so here will be our conveyor belt. I hope that we have enough conveyor belts uh, because right now I don't have more leather and I don't really want to kill the cows uh, because I just killed a bunch of them. Uh, one, next 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 one. Next one and make some jumping here. Here, 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 and here, right? And here uh, we'll have a um, we need another uh, hopper, actually, and another chest. And that's okay. We'll go and make a spruce wood chest, because why not? It will be our output chest. And the output chest, for example, will be uh, maybe here. Yeah, that doesn't really look that bad. Yeah, the scaffolding should actually go here with the... Yeah, okay. That's the thing that I want. Here. Whoops, whoops. Uh-huh. Uh, this is one too much and now we have the item router and the second one uh, item router right okay and now we need a hopper yeah I think this is the like uh, when, now when I'm playing this mod pack and immersive engineering, uh, yeah, a lot, right? And this is the first time that I'm actually using that much of hoppers. Really, this is like the first time. Normally, they they they, they could even not exist in the pack. I, I, I would not care that much. But this is the first time that I'm actually using like a lot of hoppers. Uh, here, here, and then we'll have here, here, uh, here here okay so I have 
quite a nice uh, amount. Okay, something like that, right? And I will have to actually improve this one uh, because I don't like how it actually lies on the ground, but um, I still want access to there, right? So yeah, and I don't have the input now when, I, when I'm thinking about it. I don't really have the input. Uh, well, does it actually do anything? No, it doesn't. Okay, so what is the idea? I will grab a couple of ores, right? And I will uh, show you the initial sh setup for one type of the ore. Um, it's actually quite a, a, a simple idea, I think. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. I'll grab some iron ore, I know, nine of it, and some copper ore. Yeah, that's okay. Uh huh. Because some of the ores I don't think you can actually do in a crusher, like from the taiga uh, extension to the, the Tinker's Construct, so I will still need the smeltery. But for the bulk of my ores, I can actually use this thing, right? I will still need to make a proper like input one, but I will make it with a, a, a different conveyor belts, the, the, the vertical ones. Uh, okay, but this is how it actually will work, kinda, right? So I will drop one of the ores. Come on, yeah, I need the grid. Well, I need actually the, um, yeah, this blue one, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's how it should work okay okay um, so here I will drop uh, like this much iron ore and this much copper ore see now the grid is going here and it's going to the furnace ah, and there is an overflow grid but that's not really a problem because it will go here right it will go to the uh, through the item filters and will go back and it will just go that much time till it will actually get a, uh, a furnace that can go and smelt it, and that's all. Yeah, so that's the idea. See, here, and the ingots are actually getting to the chest, and the grid... Where's the grid? Oh, the grid is there, okay. And uh, yeah, I have problem with power. Or maybe that our power generator is actually being unloaded, I don't know. Uh, yeah, see? Yeah, okay, so I will have to make more power generation. Way more. Oh, uh, there is a like, grid that's actually not going there. Oh, okay, so that's interesting. Why is it not going there? Uh, fuzzy. Oh, this is very interesting because I thought that it will just... Put everything. Oh, maybe this one is actually not uh, configured. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this one, this one. Oh, but that is really annoying. That could be really annoying. Huh, okay. For now, I will actually remove this one. Well, access actually the with this one and I will try to resolve the problem hmm. later on okay but this should still work now whoa no no okay that's cool yeah and I need to make more power generation wow oh, wow why it's so laggy I have no idea what is happening right now, but now it's so laggy. And now it's okay. Yeah, I think like power fluctuation actually caused a lag. Um, okay, guys. Um, huh. I really don't know why this thing doesn't work in a proper way. Nickel grid. Oh, there's a completely different one. Okay, maybe I will have to actually make like a uh, in a different or, uh, orientation the item routers. Um, so I will actually go and check that. Maybe uh, that's the basic problem. 
and uh, yeah, and then I will be back, right? Uh, but yeah, so see you, and uh, I will check it. What is actually happening? Uh, okay, guys. Um, just a quick uh, 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 summary. I made the input one, right? So this is basically the input. Uh, uh, um, yeah, conveyor belt, door crusher, right? It goes here, goes up, goes uh, to the conveyor belt. Everything is then spit out, just like that. And that's interesting. Oh. The conveyor belt sometimes they do they do something with the with the Minecraft physics and yeah so. I'm trying to iron out all the bugs here, but uh, it's not really that easy. Uh, yeah, but uh, basically the basic setup works, right? So it's going there. Uh, the problem with the uh, item router, I think the problem was that I had two next to each other and they didn't behave properly. Uh, so now I have two uh, separated with a conveyor belt and now do they do behave properly. So that's not really a problem really anymore. And as you can see, uh, we just got uh, two iron. Uh, uh, ingots with them, right? So, uh, yeah, this should be plenty space to actually uh, define all the uh, different rules and so, right? For uh, what should be actually uh, going to the uh, output chest. So that's very cool. Uh, the crusher works, we have the input, uh, the output from the crusher is sometimes is kind of laggy and sometimes it's not. I don't really know, um, yeah, what, what, what can actually do about it. Uh, maybe I will make like a um, small conveyor belt here and a, also a uh, a vertical one. Maybe that will help. I'm not sure about that, so yeah. Um, well, I could actually try and just like right now because they are actually quite uh, cheap and I have all the resources here. Uh, yeah, but the whole factory thing it looks really, really nice. Uh, now the only problem is that I cannot really run it for a long while because I just don't have the power to actually go and run it for a long, uh, long while. So the next episode uh, for 100% will be making more power. And that's actually good because uh, I want to make more stuff, uh, well more stuff, uh, uh, more things with immersive engineering, right? And that will uh, go and require from me more power. So that's actually, pro oh, I just need one. Okay, that's cool. Uh, yeah, see? Uh, some ours, goes the crusher. It really looks like a factory now. Oh, now, yeah, now it's way better. Now it's way better. And yeah, now it really looks like a factory. You have the conveyor bus, they go, they split, the, 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 sometimes they, they, they go around and so, and it's, it's, it, it really looks like a factory and I really like it. You have this kind of like intrigue machines and so, uh, so yeah. Now it looks like a factory, and I really like it. I really, really like it. Um, I don't think we have actually space to uh, uh, expand this system. Maybe a little bit to here, uh, but that's not really a concern right now. Mostly because we don't have, have the power, right? But in the future, even if we will have. And the need to expand, maybe we can actually squeeze additional two furnaces there and that should increase the output quite heavily. But uh, yeah, we'll see, right? And this whole thing really, really nicely looks, whoops, really nicely looks from the from the above. So the whole uh, gallery thingy that we have uh, um, uh, here, right? It's actually quite a cool way to actually go and uh, look when everything is working, so right? Uh, maybe I could actually make some kind of more glass uh, uh, block structures here, so it will be more obvious that you can actually go and see and look at it. But yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I think I will have actually here a, some kind of control panel for the whole uh, factory. Maybe with, comp um, with we'll, maybe with open computers, maybe that's an idea, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so we have our all processing here. Very cool, I would say, very cool. And this is also why I really like immersive engineering, because it's not two blocks. It's not really two blocks. You have to have like a lot of space to make the factory, right? So uh, I really like that. I really like that. It, it's 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 way more uh, uh, rewarding when you when you come when you make the whole system, right? Um, 
yeah so okay so that's that and that would be all for today's episode uh, next episode most likely we will be actually making a lot of uh, new power generation um, I have in mind two new uh, ways of creating power one is a, uh, a, 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 a water mill and the other one is a uh, uh, uranium uh, thermal something generator and it's also a cool one actually mm, power 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 uh power generation yeah so we have the kind of dynamo that will be also from the uh, for the water mill right and you also have like the, this kind of like thermal something here thermoelectric generator and that works uh in a uh, uh very interesting way you have to put a two blocks of um uh, high uh uh, difference in temperatures and that will generate uh, uh, power based on that uh, difference in the, in the temperatures right so we can go with like uh, water and lava but that is not really that big difference the, the biggest difference I think is uh, ice and uh, plutonium uh, on, um, uranium right I have some uranium uh, ore so I can totally refine it into uranium blocks and I have also this really nice uh, um, snow uh, level there right so that means that uh, uh, ice will not melt so i can totally use it and i can actually make there a small uh, nuclear reactor <laughs> well it's not a really nuclear reactor but basically a passive uh, 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 yeah passive uh, thermo yeah thermoelectric generator right and most likely i will actually make there some kind of chamber and actually make it and just hook it to the existing line and that should be okay. I don't know if it will not exceed with the uh, number of uh, uh, RF that we can actually push to those uh, low voltage one, uh, lines. So maybe we'll actually also be required to make uh, hop, uh, hop to the uh, medium uh, voltage, right? But we'll see. Okay, so that's all for today's episode. Mm, we done a lot of building. We done a lot of. Uh, um, uh, tinkering and so and we have our, our ore processing that's very cool we don't have the power for for it to run constantly but that will be resolved in next episode right so um yeah see you guys then and uh cheers